In this video, we're going to have a look at how to add the thumbnail image to your post listing or page listing or even your custom post type listing. So to do that, I'm going to head over here to snippets. I'm going to deactivate the post thumbnail snippet that I created. So now when I refresh, you'll see that we don't have the thumbnail image available. So this would be the default layout. And then what we're going to do is head over to snippets. We're going to add a new snippet. And in that snippet, then we're going to add the two functions we need to create that image listing. So I'm just going to call this the uh, thumbnail post listing. Right. Now what we're going to do is we are going to target two filters. So the filters that we're going to, to use in this case, the one is going to be called the manage posts columns and the second one that we'll use is going to be the manage then you'll see that it says post post type underscore posts custom column and basically this then targets the custom post type or the post or the page and you would then just replace post for example here with your custom post type name or if this was woocommerce you would just replace post with um, product so these are the two filters then that we're going to target. So in the first filter that we're going to be targeting, uh, we're just going to apply the filter and it's just to add the column to the column listing. So here at the top is to add a listing now that says featured image. So to do that, I'm going to head over. Well, first thing I'm going to do then is um, just copy the name manage posts columns and then i'm going to add that filter so add underscore filter and that will be manage post columns and then we'll just add a function underscore manage and in this case i'm just going to give it the same name so make sure that that is in, in single inverted commas and right so now what we can do is go ahead and create that function so the function then will be and I'll just copy the name of the function from there. And then that'll be the basic um, outline for the function. I also want to know what variable I'm targeting because when you do it, when you use a filter, you basically bring in information, change it, and then return information. So what is the name or the variable, the information that we'll be bringing in? And in this tab, in this case, we're going to be looking at post columns. So I'm just going to copy then post columns right so there we have um, the post columns and now what I'm going to do is set up the column so let's just uh, take that so here we're going to say post columns and we're going to uh, target the image array option and that's we're going to call now the featured image so that so basically what we're saying is we're going to create this column called image and or img and the title that you'll read across the top of the page will be called featured image so let's return and let's go with post columns Right, and now what we can do is save those changes and activate. And now when we head over to the website and refresh, you'll see that we have this featured image column, but it still ha doesn't have any content, and that is correct. So all that we've done then is add the column. Now what we need to do is add a second filter, and the second filter that we add will now target the post. And that filter will be this filter, which is manage post underscore post underscore custom underscore column. And if we look at it over here, all that we're doing is replacing post post type with post. So let's head over to the snippet and then we'll go add underscore filter. There we have the name of the filter comma and then I'm just going to go underscore insert that again and right now what we do know um, 
or what I do know is that there will be two variables that we'll be targeting. So we need to add the priority of 10, which is the standard priority, and to indicate that there are two variables that we'll be accessing in this function. Right, let's go over to function now and copy the name of the function. And then what we'll do is we will uh, generate the function. So, right, what are we going to be targeting for this function? So we'll head over back to WordPress and we see here that we have two um, items. We have the column name and we have the post ID. So I'm going to just copy those two and head over here to my snippet and I'm going to paste in the um, column name and post ID. So we'll be using both of those and then we're going to return the value of one of those uh, in order to update the content of the column. So let's now target the column that we created in the, perf in the previous function. So we'll go if and in this case we'll go column underscore name is the same as and in this case we'll say img so now we're just making sure that the information that we're adding is going to be in that column and the column is img then what we'll do is just get the uh, featured image so we'll go echo get underscore the underscore post underscore thumbnail so standard wordpress function to get the post thumbnail and here we're going to use the post id comma and then the size that we'll be returning is we want the thumbnail image and then we need to return a value and we're going to return and in this case it'll be the column underscore name Right, so basically we're saying if the column name is equal to IMG, then echo, get the post no, the post thumbnail, post ID thumbnail, and that will ensure that the post thumbnail is displayed. So let's uh, save that. And then what we're going to do is just go and have a look and see what we've got. So there we know that we have the column. And if I refresh now, we should see the featured image in that column so that's great so that's working and that was really easy problem is is we don't actually want it so far to the right what we'd actually like to do is move the element closer to the left hand side now all these elements here that you see are basically contained in an array so that's an array 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 of values and what we're going to do now is slice up that array and array slice is exactly what it says. We're going to cut up that array and then we're going to take this column and we're going to move it to just after this tick box. And that's just done using a function called array slice, which is a standard um, function within WordPress and basically or in PHP. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply that now to the first uh, function that we created. So all that so when we move that column here, featured image, we're going to move that here, then that'll ensure that the array of data then, uh, that the image is then moved across. So to show you how that works, let's um, head over to our function here, and I'm going to copy that. Right, and what I want to do, and the reason I'm copying that is because I'm now going to comment out this section right and we're going to rewrite or just recreate the function with in a slightly different way so let's have a look and see how we're going to do that before i start i know that i'm going to return the values for post columns so i'm just going to insert that straight away so we're going to return the values for post columns the next thing that we want to do is um, have a look at what information we're going to use in post columns. So to get the um, the different column layout set, set up, we're going to use a function from PHP called Array Slice. And it does exactly what the, work, what the name says. And it, it allows you to slice up your array of columns. So um, what we're going to do then 
and I'll just show you as we go what the effects are of the changes. So there we're just doing an array slice, but we haven't, um, we don't have anything um, to show at the moment. So what we can do is add that new column. So we're going to go plus array, and now you'll recognize that we're going to add the image. So here, this is how we added the image here, but because we want to add the image in a specific location in a column, we're now going to add an array. And in that array, we're going to look at image. So IMG. And you'll see now featured, oh, featured image. So you'll recognize the featured image. And we'll just leave it at there for now. And let's go and have a look at what we've got. So basically we're saying is return the post columns, but in this case, just within these parameters. So I'm going to save that. And when we head over to the website now, we should see something like that. So we now have the featured image, but we don't have all the other columns that are available to us inside the data because all we've said in this um, array slice is just add that one column. Now what we need to do is bring back all the other columns. So to do that, plus, um, so we now we go add, and we'll do another array slice. And in this case, what we're going to do then is bring in the post columns. So the post columns, and I'll show you how all these um, numerical values work and then we're going to do a count and we want to bring in all the columns right so that's the count of all the columns available to us and true right so if we have a look at what we have here now so that's this section here now is going to bring back the rest of the columns that are available to us so I'm just going to save that and now when we go and have a look at what we have, you'll see now that all the columns are back and the image is here, is the first item in the listing. And let's say now that I want to move the image actually one to the right. So I'd like the post titles first and then I'd like the thumbnail. To do that, I'm going to head over here to my um, layout and what I'm going to do is change this 0, 1 to a 2. So if I change that to a 2 and I save and I head over, you'll see now that the image moves on. So when we look at um, how this is set up, so basically the title would be in column 1, the featured image is in column 2. So if I change that then to say a 4 and save and we go back to the website, then you'll see now that that image is going to be column number 4. And that's how we can now position the, the targeted column with the featured image anywhere in the listing. I'm going to head back here and move that back to column 1. And when I refresh then, so it'll first be column 1 is the image, and then we'll have the title. I sometimes actually prefer the image to be second. Um, for some reason, it just makes it a little bit easier to um, to work um, to kind of see the image and then see the title. It's just easier on the eye to quickly reference to the left as opposed to heading to the right and then choosing the first column. So this becomes like a separator between the name of the post and then whatever other information that I have lined up next to it. Right, so that's pretty much um, how that works. And that's then how you can add a column. So the first thing we did was add a column. Then what we did is we used the array slice from PHP first to remove or first to add the new column, which was the image column, and then to add the other val other values available to us from the um, post columns. And in the second instance, then we had another function and there we targeted what information to put inside that column. And in this case, we just use the standard get the post thumbnail uh, with the post ID and the size. So if I change that thumbnail there to medium and I save and we head back to the website, 
then we should see the medium size image and there you can see the medium size image appearing. So maybe um, if you do have images that don't show enough of what's going on, maybe, or if you want to get an idea of the orientation of the images, if you change that to medium, then you will see the medium image. So that might work for you on your website if, if that's something that you need to take note of. Um, what you'll see though is that the image stretches further than just that column width and you'll see that it's actually coming in under the author name so just be aware that that does result in the image not being or that the columns not moving on depending on the width of the image so just something to um, take note of if we were to swap that around then and let's make the image let's move the image back to the first column and i'm not sure that that would make any difference no it doesn't it now hides a bit of the title. So it's probably best wherever possible then just to go with a thumbnail as the image size. And then you'll get a much neater output in the column listing. Right, well that's how you can then add the image uh, to the column listing. And of course you can do this to custom post types as long as you make a provision for that in the name of the function. So that would then just be replacing that with the name of your custom post type. And then um, the second option then here is to add the um, column and then also make a note that when you do it for custom post type to specify then the slug of the custom post type in that function as well. Otherwise, what you might find is that it's not being applied correctly. But we'll have a look at that in another video. Um, this one was just to add it then in the posts. Right, well, I hope you found that um, valuable. Thank you for watching.